Greetings, shalom, tis I. So it is eight o'clock in the morning. I am currently in the parking lot of my school because I'm getting my hair done today for Valentine's Day. And I figured I'd make a vlog out of it because why not? I don't ever have anything else to vlog about. Welcome back to my story. If you didn't know, my name is Harley Nouveau and the purpose of this channel is to document my journey towards my North Star while hopefully helping you find yours along the way. So if that sounds like the place for you, then subscribe to my channel and add your name to the storybook that is my life. As I said in today's chapter, I'm just getting my hair done. It probably won't be that long, but it might be pretty exciting. So yeah, I'll check back in with you whenever this place opens up. Till then, I'm just gonna sit here, sip some tea, and watch people spill some tea on YouTube. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm in the chair. We're about to start. I'm not gonna show her face because she asked me not to from below, but this arm belongs to the person doing my hair. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever told you guys I get a 75% discount on my services, but I do. We have my boss in her natural habitat. She's got blocked by her, but they're both gorgeous. Don't worry, I'm avoiding your face. We're putting in the bleats now. Yeah. It's gonna be a boring vlog, you guys, but I just wanted to vlog something. My invader's still on my forehead too, but it's going away. I don't know who sings this song. We're developing the bleats right now. So, it's looking really fast though. Okay, so there's been a slight change of plans. Ironically though, it's a good change of plans in a way. So originally we were going to be doing slicing. slicing red into pink, like with more pink than red, but we realized that this is gonna overpower the pink by quite a bit if we do that. So we're gonna go with the original idea that I came in with, which is split dyeing my hair. So we'll be able to split dye it. So hopefully that turns out well. And then next month we're just gonna do like a rainbow. But I'm still excited. I think it's gonna look cool. I feel bad because I know that you wanted to slice it, but... <laughs> we just washed it. You can see some peeking through. And then, I, I don't know if she's blow-drying it, but the color is coming soon. Do I look beautiful? Do I look stunningly gorgeous like this? I had to adjust the camera. Do you want to be on camera? This is my friend. She's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to go ahead and lift my hair again. This is Beth. There she is. Hi! my boss. Then we're gonna <laughs> lift my hair again um, to see if we can get it to like closer to a 10 and then if that pink will work. Oh my skin looks terrible. So that's what it looks like underneath. But it's not like consistent you know. See it took on the roots so we're just gonna get the whole of it to that root color. My scalp is lit up like the 4th of July. Not because it's burning, but because it's literally pink. My scalp is pink, you guys, but it's not anything crazy. I have psoriasis on my scalp, so I'm pretty sure it's just causing it to flare. I don't know if the pink's gonna be pink enough, but the red is amazing. Okay, so yeah, the red is amazing. We're wondering if we're gonna have to put some magenta in the pink to make it pick up a little more, but who knows. Okay, they're saying that they think it looks nice without needing to put more stuff in, so we're gonna blow dry it in a second and see how it turned out. I'm excited. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, there's still some blonde peeking through. I like it. I told her we're like 90% there. So if we just get that pink covered, which we'll do um, probably not today, then it's like perfect. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. So on further reflection, we decided to try to do some more pink on it to help even out the color. So I went and did this bubblegum pink and I'm hoping that that will match the vibrancy of the red better and also cover up the rest of the blonde. It looks like it's working pretty well. So we'll see when I wash it out in like 20 minutes how that turned out. And hopefully I'm here to deliver an amazing hair color story to you. Hi. I may or may not have fell asleep last night. 
So it is the next morning. My back hurts really bad from sleeping on the floor, but it's okay. This is what my hair looks like as of right now. It's still a bit inconsistent on the pink side, but it's a lot better than it was. Honestly, I think a lot of this will even out probably when it washes for the first time. I know some of it is gonna be like bleeding over from the red, but I've never done this before, so. For our first take on it, I don't think it ended up that bad. I wish that my hair wasn't as wonky as it was, but the way it dried made it hard for me to do anything to it. But here's what it looks like. As you can tell, whenever I do it this way, it's easier to see like the bleeding that happened. Cause you know, like the more pink as opposed to like the more ruddy pink. I figured I'd show that to you. That's all that I got in this vlog. Hopefully my next attempt, not at this color scheme, but my next split dye attempt goes a little bit better. I think it will because it's not gonna be pastel and pastels are like the hardest to get your hair to do. And uh, yeah, I kind of like it. I Like I said, I just wish it was a little more uniform, but I'm still kind of into it. But thanks for stopping by to watch my vlog. As always, I am Harley Nouveau and I wish each of you every happiness until our stars next align.